I choose freedom and hope and opportunity. Will you choose it with me? Senator Tim Scott could emerge as a significant obstacle for former President Donald Trump's 2024 campaign, especially in his home state of South Carolina. While Republican leaders in the state were clear Trump has a supportive base in the state, they indicated voters are interested in Scott as a viable alternative. County and district GOP chairmen and women throughout the Palmetto State emphasized the still prevalent support for Trump. But with about seven months until the South Carolina primary, voters are hearing out other candidates, Scott in particular. Of the leaders spoken to by Washington Examiner, there was some disagreement over the degree to which Trump's support in the state is unwavering. According to the Dorchester County GOP chairman Stephen Wright, the former president has, quote, solid support in South Carolina, as he has across the country. However, he added the caveat South Carolinians, quote, take our obligation as the first in the South primary state seriously, and nobody's entitled to our vote. They have to earn it. Tensions in South Carolina race are further increased by the presence of two candidates who called the state home, Scott and former ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley. Haley claims she will back Trump if he's the nominee, but does not believe he has what it takes to win. We need a new generational leader. We've got to leave this negativity behind. Are there problems in our justice? Would you support him if he gets the nomination? I would support him because I am not going to have a President Kamala Harris. We can't afford that. That is not going to happen. But I will tell you, you look at these indictments, there's probably going to be a fourth indictment. Right. We can't have, as Republicans, him as the nominee. He can't win a general election. That's the problem. We've got to go and have someone who can actually win.